G'day, Wombat here, and today I want to talk about tube versus solid state amplifiers. So, which one is better? Well, that's an entirely subjective idea. It's something that we've been fed as musicians uh, by the media, that tube is always so much better. It sounds better, it gives you better response, all of those sorts of things. But is that actually correct, or is it just a media beat up? Well, as I said, it's a subjective thing. It comes down to personal preference. And there are a lot of guitarists out there who do think solid state is better than tube. But generally speaking, as guitarists, we tend to all think that tube is better than solid state. So the only thing I can really do is talk about my experiences and what I use. So I do own a tube amplifier. It's a small amplifier, it's a five watt amplifier, and it is very, very loud. Do I think it sounds better than a solid state amplifier? Yeah, I do, I honestly do. It has a little more air to the sound. Um, it, it just sounds better in ways that I can't even describe. But is it that much better? Not really. So what do I use when I play live? with my band. Well, I use my tube amplifier to play blues and some rock stuff, uh, mostly at home. Occasionally I'll play some blues with some other people. Um, but my job as a musician is metal. And when I play with my band live, I use solid state. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, <clears throat> solid state, I find, in a live situation, is more reliable than a tube amplifier. So I know that when I get to a venue and I plug my amplifier in, that it's going to work. It's going to get the job done. And I know that I can get a good tone out of it. And that's the key here, tone. A good tone is paramount in choosing an amplifier and getting the best out of an amplifier. So I know I can get a good tone out of it. And solid state these days really has improved out of sight compared to even 10 years ago. Um, a lot of them try and emulate tone from a tube amplifier somewhat, but for the most part, um, they're, they're just their own thing. So they can sound pretty good. And I use solid state uh, for that reason. It sounds really good and it's terribly reliable. Not the tube amps are particularly delicate, but with a tube amplifier, you're always a little concerned that you're going to have a malfunction due to giving it a bit of a knock um, and those sorts of things. It's always in the back of your mind with a tube amplifier that you really want to be a bit careful with it. Um, the other reason that I tend to use solid state live is weight. Solid state is so much lighter than tube amplifiers. Um, and when you're lugging an amplifier from a car to a venue and then you're playing and then you're lugging it back out again, um, that all adds up. You've got a lot of gear to carry and a tube amplifier is uh, a little awkward and just really takes a bit more effort to move about the place. So um, as you progress in the music world um, over the years, you tend to um, not so much downsize your rig, but you downsize the weight where you can. So um, solid state amplifiers are good for that. Um, besides, I play metal where the difference in tone is not as evident as it is in other forms of music. Um, lots and lots of high gain, um, whilst you do get great sounds from a tube amplifier, um, a lot of the high gain amplifiers that are solid state sound um, almost as good. So yeah, they're, they're the kind of reasons why I like to use solid state live. Um, but mostly it's those two major reasons of, of weight and, um, and simple consistency. Um, the other thing to take into account when choosing between a tube amplifier or a solid state amplifier is volume. So in a lot of venues you can't play too loud, particularly in Australia at the moment. Um, there's all kinds of noise restrictions going on and you can't necessarily play too loud. A solid state amplifier will sound pretty much the same at just about every volume you put it at. So you're going to get a good tone 
at just about every volume you need. Whereas a tube amplifier really sounds at its best when you can crank it. And it's a lot of fun to crank a tube amplifier, but not all venues are open to that kind of volume level. And I've got to say, tube amplifiers are very, very loud, much louder than a solid state amplifier. So that's another thing to take into account. My little five watt amplifier that I use at home um, is really, really loud. And I, even at home, I need to have it turned way down. Even though it's only five watts, it is ridiculously loud. So it's, that's another thing to take into account when talking about uh, tube versus solid state. So um, I hope that's helped you. Um, it, it's not an easy decision to make because um, we're, we're fed all this about how good uh, tube amplifiers are. Um, but all you can really do is plug into the two different kinds of amplifier and try them out for yourself and see which you think sounds best. And that's what you go with. Um, so yeah. I hope that's been a bit of a help for you today. Once again, thank you very much for watching and um, keep rocking, guys.